Please believe me. I don't know who's out there. I'm not one of them. Come on, Rob boy. What are you doing here? Come to take you to church, haven't I? Like before. I brought a hat. What happened last night? Nothing to remember. Just a game we're about sometimes. I was... I was... very frightened. Stupid. I thought... No call for that stupid thinking, lad. What good would a woman's blood be for the land? We bear, my dear. Women give birth. That am our work. Kicks a man for the other. You spare up half your car come yesterday. You should bring here off the morning service. All right then, Grace. I'll be no more trouble with that. Well, I'm time for a bath before church. Where's Rob? Gone to Canada, Miss Palmer. Not till next week. Oh, dear me, no, I'm sure you're mistaken. He was to leave today. Easter Sunday, most appropriate start to a new life. By train to Liverpool and by boat, an assisted passage. Assisted by you? As it happens. He came round last night, as I understand it, to take his leave. You'll be selling the house, I imagine. Yes. Yeah. That's better. Country life can it suit us all. I mean, yes, he came round last night. I heard so. We must all wish him luck in his new venture. Peter doing here last night? Peter too. But there would be no occasion for him to say farewell. The village is his home. Yes. Well, that was very naughty of him. Did anyone else see him? Only Rob. Who is no longer with us. Why are you letting me leave when I could go to the police? About what, Miss Palmer? Mrs. Vigo said something rather curious to me this morning. She said, what good would a woman's blood be for the land? No good at all. It takes a man. Indeed, yes. You understand it then? Study of religions is one of my many interests. I am a reading man, you know. Known for it. The goddess of fertility in the old legends was in some ways like yourself, Miss Palmer. Not a married lady, but nevertheless, 
if you'll excuse the freedom, not a virgin either. In the autumn, she would couple with the young king. King? He'd be treated like a king. He served and pampered, you might say. And then, of course... Killed? He would pass away, yes. Assisted to it, you might say. And from his blood, the crops would spring. A Greek legend, Mr. Fisher. And Egyptian, Mexican, many places. You must read a book by Sir James Fraser, The Golden Bough, in seven volumes. But not an English legend. Robin Hood, Robin of the Dale, even Robin Redbreast, one of the very birds in your garden. The male robin only lives a year, you know. The female has many partners. Always robin. Such bounty there was. Such fruitfulness, Miss Palmer, from the blood that drained from Robin Hood. So the old stories say. But they are only stories, of course. And if that's all one had to say to the police, how very foolish they would think one. Your car's ready now. Thank you. Well, there's just one other small matter. You'll forgive me if I offend you. Your uh, little one. The expected little bundle. Mrs. Vigo was afraid you might be modern in your thoughts, but I was sure you would not wish to take a life. What are you saying, Mr. Fisher? I have very good friends, Miss Palmer, at a local orphanage. And in... 20 years? It would not concern you. No. No, I... I don't... Yes, sir. Thank you. 